All right. Um, all right, we're moving on to the last episode, guys. All right. Let's see what we got up in this bad boy right here, guys. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. I don't know. I'm trying to protect her. I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Beck is a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract us, uh, it sounds great. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. I don't think so. Okay, be careful. I don't want you messing with those. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Becca, Becca kind of reminds me of her, uh, of like a older version of uh, Clementine, you know. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. All right, we got our ammo right here. It's a uh, look at the huh. flashlights. Still short. We never found the other flashlight. Nope, still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Let's see, talk to. What did Becca. Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. All right. Got a little boot up on it though. Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> you guys were looking at it too. Don't act like you wasn't. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Alright. Hold on, what's hold on? It's some on this picture, isn't it? It's like they was okay, yeah, let's check out this picture. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. All right, let's uh come back this way then and see what we can come up with, guys. Yeah, this is the most searching uh they pretty much let us do like I think uh, out of all the episodes so far in our four hundred days. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. All right, somebody need to get the sharp in them. Then what's this blood? Who do who got stabbed by the knife? You ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. 
Could be anything these days, though. Oh. Still, better not to think about it. Okay, so this was after, uh, yeah, that Russell episode. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the Russell episode, check uh, check that one out. I already uh, did that one by the time you guys are watching this one. And that'll explain that blood over there. All right. Uh, I, can't, I can't go anywhere else. I can't go anywhere else. I'm trapped. Okay, look through the window. It'd be nice to get those windows fixed one day. We will. One day. All right. I am lost right now, guys. I'm just walking. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to see if there any, is there anything else I need to. I probably need to talk to her. I didn't. Did I talk to her already? Did I look at everything over here? Yeah, I did. Okay. okay. Oh, hold on. Someone over here. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. So they just held up in the diner. This is this is what where they call home. Lord, give me a sign. Can I get somebody to tell me? How, okay, right here. These options what wasn't here a second ago, so I guess I going the right way as far as uh. Okay, now they let me walk through there. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh yeah, then we can spend all our money at nowhere. All right. See, can go through the door. It's behind door number one. But yeah, I, I I like how all the stories like tie in together some some way, shape, form, you know. And uh. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Coffee is nasty and it's bad for you. <laughs> nah, but uh, if you like coffee, that's you. You know, so I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, hold on, what's this fire extinguisher? Let's check this out. We should do a lot of stuff to mess with. Make sure they all work. All right. Why? Why is this? Uh, why is this thing so hot over here? What is? What's? What, what's going on right here? Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. All right. I think I got everything up in here, guys. I'm just trying to check everything. Make sure. Hold on. We we didn't check this right here yet. Smells good. I'm saving that door for last. If you guys can't tell, I'm just checking everything else right now. Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs too. Yeah, this is the most searching that we done did so far uh, in this DLC. All right, we got that door right there. All right, let's Ooh, check this. Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. What is this? I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. All right. Cool. Let's get that back around here. All right. Not a damn thing. Let's get through the door, honey. Oh, whoa, whoa. God <gasps> damn it. Me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. Feel bad for it. He's not an animal. It's disgusting. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. This is crazy, man. They, uh, they keep these in... I was about to call him infected. Well, I guess it's 
what are what are they ca categorized as, as infected or, or zombies i don't know but you you guys you know get what i'm trying to say they keep them chained up like a dog what the fuck Calm your gray-headed ass down. I kick your food from up under you. <laughs> you oh, who got the basketball? I play uh, I play a game or two. Bro, he look like a goddamn Caprice. How you gonna fuck up the Caprice like that? It's a damn classic. Oh lord, they don't fucked up the round body. Oh God. What do you eat? What is it? I wanna I wanna see. I wanna see. That motherfucker guy. Ugh. Damn. Oh man, that's that uh That's that old lady, man, in that uh, from the other episode. <laughs> yeah, this uh this episode right here guys ties in very, very, very uh he heavily with the with the Russell episode, so yeah. Where do we need? I guess we need to go around here, don't you? Hey, let me, I'm trying to stay as far away from this motherfucker as possible. It still look like he can, he can reach me. The fuck? I can't. Okay, so I can't go around this way. Cool. All right. You got it. You got it. Right, so I guess we go around. Okay, so we still can't go around this way, really. All right. That invisible wall is hell right now, guys. That invisible wall is a. It's a, it's a beast. Right, so there's no going this way. Just trying to go, trying to, you know, make sure I, you know, I'm not missing anything, guys. All right, I guess we go back up in here now. That's the only place that we can go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again. You was about to catch a reflex, honey. Whoa, what's you your don't problem? even know it. I do this all the time. I'm you sorry. Saw off. some sad. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. It's it's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on. We gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. It's okay to be bad. Jesus. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? Who is he? Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. We just barely got our stuff back last time. And that had nothing to do with us. We just got luck. Whatever went down was between them. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. Uh, he just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. 
This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. <sighs> well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. We stole their boat from that teenage kid at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Are you serious? Right, uh... Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing boat here, Shell. What's oh, going to be? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Set him free. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what Give do him got? some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? All right, let's see. Which card do I want to let's give it a seven? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman hasn't taken any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you? Uh... Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is it about Becca? Can we talk here? Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Don't know. Maybe find out about the boards. Worry about it. Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. 
He said it was important. Yeah, well, these days everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Oh, man. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I feel like it's going to be some BS. So they say, like, the, the guy that, that, that we let go. How come no one's watering these? Uh, that we let go, like, um, did, did he come back? Did he break in again and, and kill somebody of, of ours? Because that, that's what Becca said. The fuck? What, what is this? Somebody a, is a bad painter. Doesn't even that that doesn't even uh, make sense. Or they didn't finish it. One of the two. Here's old grumpy ass old lady over here. Talk to her. I say something to her. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my God. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Oh, this, uh, Stephanie was, uh, was that nice looking girl, I, I believe. Let's see. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was a risk. So what? Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? It doesn't matter, no. No. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. She's one of us. I'll do it. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. When she tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? There's nothing you have to worry about. It's gonna be hard for you to hear. Stephen you tried to escape. Uh, let's do this. It's... it's nothing. Nothing you have to worry about. Shell, just tell me. Someone was caught trying to steal our supplies. Who? Stephanie. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? This place isn't safe anymore. It doesn't matter if she did what she did. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Well, they quick to kill people around here, ain't it? Shit, they was ready to kill the other dude. Now they really to kill Stephanie, one of their own. All right, let's get the let's get the gun then. Good lord. Gotta watch your friends more than you gotta watch your enemies around this one. <laughs> I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. Fine, go ahead. No, 
I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell, it's time. Oh, uh, look at the choice. The choices. Uh, what should I do? I want to play some cards. Let's just play some cards. Who, who want to play some spades? Let's just, let's just sit down and just relax. Everybody stay calm. Let's play some spades. No, okay. We got to pick one. Uh... I don't want to kill that woman, man. Let's go. Fuck it. Grab the keys. We gone. We gone. God damn it. That's what the, that's what's going Shell? on. Shell, what the hell? Sit down. Get safe. Shell, hey! Shell! Be safe. Don't be safe. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? I'm not sure. Around five, I think. Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. <laughs> Far so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you bit! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I followed the smoke, found your note. I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people, plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. 
Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Well, why not, Russell? If they have food and medicine and... and... Yeah, medicine. Look... I don't trust her, Bonnie. What would it take to convince you? I'm not trying. Uh... What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit <laughs> crazy. We've you all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it choice. is, Russell. Hope people. is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's your choice. Again, I'm not trying to force you or convince you. As long as you're willing to obey the rules and pull your weight, you're welcome to come. But you've got to decide now. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? You don't? Uh... You don't. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like and fade button. It really helps me out a lot. Walking Dead 400 Days was a nice DLC. I really can't wait to see all the decisions that we made in this DLC, how it affects season two. That's like the biggest thing that I want to see, you know, come out of this. But I really had fun playing this game, guys. I hope you guys had fun, you know, watching me play it. But uh, other than that, guys, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Cooper. Until next time, go live.